Hi guys, this is Uma from React to the K, and welcome to my very first listen of uh, Vix's. I can't speak French. You de Vix album. <laughs> I'm sorry if I butchered that. I will be listening to Odd Sense Silence, My Valentine Circle, Good Day Escape, Trigger, Resemble, Navy, and Shining Gold for the first time. Thank you, Vix, for the lot of songs. My brain is gonna be dead by the end of this, and this is probably gonna be a really long first listen. But so that, that means I should just jump into it. So let's start off with Odd Sense. Let go. It's like grunge sexy with that like low synth. I'm turning this up. Like the finish, or just a weird chord, and then it goes into the chorus. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Ooh. Fire! 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 <laughs> Riffing like an actual like vocal chord. The yummy chord was created by the vocal riffing. You, you know what you usually get? What the fuck is this song? It's amazing! Oh. So thick. Oh, that song was fucking thick and sexy and chromatic motion and awesome not pop chords. Great beat. I love the sounds. I love everything about that song. Um, because I'm not going into detail now, I will be able to go into detail actually in Truly Daybeck's podcast. I'll be joining them for a full episode and I'll be giving a more in-depth review of this album. Look forward to that. I'll definitely tweet about it once the podcast is released, but if you're curious about my deeper thoughts about that song and the rest of the album, I'll be able to say everything there. Okay, it's gonna be hard to top that. Let's move on to silence. Okay, so far, both B side songs are better than Sentis, in my opinion. on the beat and then it syncopated a little bit. And half time for the chorus, this is like the definition of sexy. Oh, that was weird. Yeah! What the hell? It sounds like one of those things that you hit to try and get like a secretary's attention or something like on the desk. Okay, we're back to... Oh, yes! Yeah, I took out the percussion. I like the vocal harmonies. Okay, here's the percussion. I like how before it was Hong Bin and Ravi, but now it was Hyuk and Ravi. They like almost like it was a call and answer with a melody and rapping. It was so cool. Oh yeah. Now this is what I call a pre chorus. For nice delay. I love the main lower percussion sample. It kind of sounds like an actual like bass drum. Just kidding. And like the rhythm isn't your typical just one, two, three, four. 
It's syncopated and it's kind of unpredictable and I love this bridge. Yeah, so that, that one was good too. <laughs> Again, I thought that was much stronger than Sentist um, with its sounds and I guess I just like more hype things. So Sentist is a different feel and maybe I shouldn't compare them, but I can't help but could to compare them because my personal opinion is that Odd, Odd Sense and Silence are much stronger tracks than Sentist. My Valentine. They're like taking the, the, the wheel thing and going <laughs> pitching down the piano at the end of its phrase. Oh, it doesn't do that anymore. Okay, so now the notes are actually sustained. Or they, they don't get pitched down. This is definitely more of a gentle track, but still as sexy as the last ones. Like a little jazzy line, or not jazzy, but bluesy. Oh my, did we get yuck rapping? And now Hung Bin. Oh! I love that! What the F is that? That's such a cool sound. Never heard it before. It's like you hit a Congo and then you put it into Pro Tools and pitch it in weird ways. Yeah, so the highlight of that song was that weird ass like Congo drum pitch thing. Otherwise, this song I feel like I've heard a lot of songs out there like this, so it it didn't blow me away as much as Silence or Odd Sense. Still, it was nice to listen to and pretty darn sexy. All right, circle! Three, two, one. I like the graininess, kind of like a record player. All right, muffled vocals too. There's this kind of like bell-like synth that's arpeggiating in the background. It's very quiet, but I like how it adds to the texture of the song. It actually does kind of sound like a marimba. All right, we got our trap beats. So far this song isn't really going anywhere, nothing's really grabbing my attention harmonically or melodically. Like, the chord progression and stuff I've heard before, the vocal harmonies are nice to listen to, but, you know, vocal, nice vocal harmonies happen in a lot of songs, so I, I do like this bridge. It's a kind of jazzy riffing piano. Now those are the power chords that I wanted in Sentenced. It kind of ends how it started. That's really nice. Don't have much to say about that one. Let's move on to Good Day. Okay, are we going to go fully acoustic? I can't tell if that drum set sounds real or not. Oh my god, this track came in the perfect timing of this album because my ears were just beginning to be like no not more synth songs and we've got this really nice really nice fully acoustic song though i'm not sure the the drum set sounds fake but the guitars might be real and it 
The baby said this not. <laughs> okay, so this is the theme. It's almost fully acoustic. I still appreciate the guitar sound. The guitar riff is great. Even though it's quite repetitive, I like how they layer into different guitar lines. Yeah, that was pretty refreshing. Um, though I do wish it was fully acoustic. I, I feel I feel re-cleansed of sexy synth and that was just bright and flowery and beach and summertime picnic fun. Escape! I think what have made this first verse more sexy is if instead of they, this really high treble percussion synth, they had a uh, bass more deep bass drummy percussion sample. But of course that wouldn't be as contrasting because like the bass just came in and it wouldn't have contrasted as much. Yeah, it's cool how they're introducing like instrument instruments, synth instruments, one at a like as the phrases go on. It's like they're just layering up and up and up. Oh, like the slide. Oh, descending treasure chord. Why did I just notice that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and that might have been lament bass. Oh no, it isn't a descending tetrachord. Oh, it's so close to a descending tetrachord. Da 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 da. Oh my God! Oh. You know, the vocals to fade out with the instrumentals, but it just kind of like brought out the creepy whispering even more. That made me slightly uncomfortable, but you know what? That adds to the juiciness of the song, just being creeped out at the end by whispering right away. Yeah, so descending tetrachord, it's a certain pattern of half steps and then like one whole step um, going down. Da, 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 da. But this one, da, 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 da. So it isn't really a descending tetra chord, but it's kind of. It's just like the last two notes are just chromatically descending. <laughs> okay, move on to trigger. So uh, due to iTunes, trigger is the most popular B-side song so far um, as of April 17th in the US at 11.38. It is the most popular B-side song, so I'm looking forward to it. We'll see if it can beat Odd Sense for me, because Odd Sense is still strongly number one in this album. Let go! So far, very predictable. The chord progression is predictable, the melody is predictable, but that's what makes it a better pop song, so I could see why this song is very popular. The guitars in this song are so much more muffled. It's just to add like rhythmic layering to the song, and then they disappear for the pre-chorus. Yeah, the pre-chorus is more legato, sustained synths and progression. So the percussion beat is one, two, one, two. The harder hit is on two and four, which 90% uh, of pop songs have. So this song is full of really nice sounds, and I could see why this might be popular because of that. But so far, like, there's there's some syncopation in that piano line. Car the chords aren't jumping out. Okay, typical lead into the third chorus. And the vocal lines are staying right here within like the same five notes ish. I feel like this song just isn't playing with 
time and notes as well as some of the other songs in this album. Yeah, sorry I was a little critical on that one. Um, I just saw that it was more popular so I was expecting it to grab my attention a little bit more, but so far I think that's the weakest one in the album. Yeah! Okay, I've got two more left. Resemble! Let go! Okay, so we're gonna get more of a ballad. Oh! Strings are fake or they just had a really weird uh, edit. Ah, flat. I love that addition of the vocal harmonies towards the when they hold out a note. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, yes. Oh my god, I love Ed's voice! I love his vibrato! It's so beautiful! Oh, this is so nice. Oh, this is so nice. There's spicy notes, there's modal mixture, piggity thirds, beautiful instrumentation, oh, and the melody moves in pleasing and slightly spicy ways. This is so good. And pick any third. Oh, they got rid of. They're using some jazzy chords, man. Oh, oh, it's so satisfying to listen to. Navy and shining gold, you're the last one! Okay, so we are speeding up. Okay, we're gonna end with a banger. Okay, this song is like the ending of a concert song. You know what I mean? Like, I know, I think Love Come True was their ending song for some of their concerts where they like just go around, you know, clap and interact with the audience. This is one of those songs. It's super major, it's easy to sing along with, it's upbeat with fun instrumentals. Ah! Da -da 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 -da. It's like my favorite rhythm to happen in Akmu's um, Play Ugly. Playing ugly, play ugly. It's just it's just fun. Da 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 da. Yeah, the hype never lets go. Bridge, you're still going. And cool descending line, and then the dominant. Or is that a tonic? No, I think that is dominant. It just like prolonged dominant and then went to tonic when we reached the chorus. Uh, one. That's a perfect performance concert song. Okay, so I've said all that I could say in this first listen. I'm just gonna uh, head over to class now while jamming out to Odd Sense. See you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye!